I'm going to be doing a site review video using the news coulomb site reviewed method. Uh, Eric, who runs the news coulomb channel, said it was okay for me to use his uh, method. He actually encouraged me to do so. And if you would like to use the news coulomb site review method, you can contact Eric. I'm sure he wouldn't mind at all. What I did is I printed out on a single piece of paper, both sides, uh, the uh, scoring. And then I laminate it, and I'm using an Expo marker in order to make the scores uh, for the site. At the end of this video, I'll tally up the total and give the site a score according to the uh, method that we're being used here. This site is immediately off Interstate 95 in Kentley, North Carolina, and is the first pilot flying J I have seen with six stalls there's two of the 350 kilowatt dispensers and then there's one of the 100 kilowatt dispensers and it also has a chatamo handle that's the first time i've seen that at this flying j uh the attached restaurant which is most commonly a denny's is closed unfortunately but let's go ahead and walk around and talk about the score so here's the vital statistics for the location the plug share location I'll link down below in the description. It has six stalls. Two, um, four of the stalls are supplied by two dual handle 350 kilowatt delta dispensers with CCS handles. One of the, uh, the other two stalls are supplied by one dual handled 100 kilowatt delta dispenser with one CCS and one Chatamo. This is an EVGO extend location, meaning that no EVGO member benefits um, are extended to this site because the hardware is owned by Pilot Flying J. However, if you're a GM customer, there's going to be the ability to reserve stalls in route coming here shortly, as well as uh, discounted charging rates. The location also has Auto Charge Plus, which is different from the SAE 15118 standard. This is the native EVGO Auto Charge. The News Coulomb site review model has 50 points in total in five categories, access, amenities, concentration, location, and speed. Each location is scored separately. The first section we're gonna do is access, one point per item. This location was able to uh, get all 10 points. You could see that <clears throat> Uh, ADA pull through effective cable management. The effective cable management, I kind of question because some of these Delta dispensers, the uh, retractable cable that pulls up the heavy CCS cable uh, wears over time, uh, but still it does have cable management and oftentimes they'll repair those pretty quickly. So I'm going to leave that as a yes. Uh, there is clear um, parking enforcement. It is very near the entrance to the site. It's very near to the facility and uh, it's right off the interstate. Also has uh, point of sale payment options as well as auto charge plus. And um, I will say it has sufficient stalls for the popularity right now. Uh, EVs are really starting to ramp up, but as it stands right now, I'm going to give it a yes. For amenities, there is a canopy overhead lighting. Uh, the facility that's attached is open 24-7, 365, and has bathrooms. Uh, there are also trash cans. Uh, the squeegees, there's kind of hit and miss at Pilot Flying Jive whether the squeegees are actually underneath the canopy for the um, electric vehicle charging. But regardless, there's squeegees within a very short walking distance in cases where the squeegees are not with the uh, EV dispensers. Uh, over near the gas pump. So I'm going to leave that as a yes regardless. Uh, the site is open 24-7, 365, so there is always staff there. The Denny's uh, inside the facility has been closed. And I think what happened is this location has run up against competition against itself, meaning just on the other side of the interstate is a pilot and it has a fast food restaurant. So I'm thinking because this exit has two pilot locations, one Flying J, one pilot, and the pilot has fast food, people are gravitating towards the fast food instead of sit-down restaurants, as is the case uh, commonly nowadays. So they shuttered the Denny's. However, I expect with the popularity of this site with the electric vehicle charging being put in, likely that's going to change. But right now, there are no dining options. However, there are snack and drink options, as you would find in any convenience store. 
Um, there is a table outside, but I wouldn't really call that a picnic area. Uh, so I'm going to do a no for that one. And also there's really nothing else around here besides the gas pumps and uh, the truck stop. As far as concentration, there are six stalls, so they get points for that. Um, this is a little bit subjective, and Eric at News Coulomb admits that this is a bit of a subjective category. However, they did increase from their typical uh, two dispensers, two dual dispensers, to three dual dispensers because of the I-95 corridor, I'm assuming, uh, being such a popular route. Uh, so I do have to give them credit for that. Uh, there is no EVgo um, anywhere near here, um, so it, it gets a no for that um, option. As far as location, it is in a really great location for people doing road trips. It is immediately off the interstate. Uh, you could see the interstate from the location, and uh, you don't have to drive more than a tenth of a mile once you get off the interstate. On the other side of the interstate, as I mentioned, is a pilot. Um, so as far as location goes, uh, it has everything you want except for any form of uh, novelty location or points of interest in which to see. There's nothing around it except open fields. As far as speed, it does very well. The transformer is not in place, so I can't say what kind of uh, transformer it's going to have. Um, let's see, this is, uh, with his site, I was a little bit uh, questioning about what he was meaning about site throughput, but there's two 350 kilowatts and one 100 kilowatts, so that would put it in the one megawatt range. So that's where I stopped it. Um, and also I didn't see the transformer, so I couldn't really see what the actual um, utility uh, throughput was for this site. But that seemed right about right. Giving us a total points of 39 out of 50. So there you have it. Although this site is not officially open yet, I figure it's far enough along in order to provide a score. I was coming through here and decided to stop by to take a look. It's a very exciting location directly off Interstate 95, which is a very heavily used corridor. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.